This clearly isn't a nine million dollars. Believe me, he knows what it is. Whoa, whoa. They said no guns and no weapons, right? Are you really gonna fall for that bullshit? I know. I can't risk it. I think it's time for you to tell me who the fuck this kid is. I'm risking my life for this little shit. I deserve to know. I knew his parents, and when they died, I promised. I see you left to me promises. This is an important promise. That's all I can say. You better be, because I'm not planning on dying today. Well, I hope nobody is. That's far enough. Open it. <laughs> Drop the bag. You got the money. Where's Tyler? Good afternoon. Sorry, we're closed today. Oh, I mean, can I just get a real quick glass of water? I, I need to take some medication. Sure. So, how's this? I've had better days. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's not like it's your fault. Well, I'm having just the opposite kind of day. Um, I'm actually having the best day of my life today. Congratulations. Thank you. You see, I'm getting revenge on an old friend of mine, and I have been planning this out for a long time. Revenge? Yeah. You see, my friend betrayed me. And I'm going to get back at him today. You're not Levi. I'm disappointed, Eddie. I didn't expect you to follow that old fool's orders like a watchdog. What happened to you? Now you want to check on me. Listen to me. No, you listen to me. That old sack of shit got rid of me when I was at my lowest. Maybe you should have checked in with me back then. What are you talking about? I've always been there for you. You lost it. I lost my brother. Still don't get it. You never will. See, that's the difference between you and me, is I'll do whatever I have to for the ones I care about, including bringing justice to the ones who murdered my family. Justice? You call killing innocent people in a hospital justice? They didn't deserve that. When have you ever thought about who deserved it? Always done the job to please your master? Michael wanted me gone, and you ratted me out. You left me no choice. You made yours. And I made mine. I wish things could have been different. I wish so, too. 
And all that's left is to finish the job I started. If that's how you want it to be, then so be it. Let's finish this the old way. Okay. Let's go. Lucky for you, the money's the reason you're still alive. Where's Tyler? Where's Tyler? Where's Tyler? Where's Tyler? You hear me? Where's Tyler? You were so naive. Naive? Who is this? Tyler? Thanks for everything. I had a lot of fun. No, thank you. You were great. Hey, this was awesome. My agent wants me to send in a self-tape. I'm auditioning for a Quentin Tarantino film. No way. Yeah, way. Good luck with that. Thanks. Tyler, what the fuck is happening? Are you just here? He's going to audition for Quentin Tarantino. No, you fucking idiot. What is going on here? I thought you were kidnapped. Oh, no, I, I just planned all that. What? What do you mean you planned all of this? Of course you didn't see that coming. You let love take advantage of you. Weren't you the one who taught me to keep your emotions out of the game? This is not a fucking game, Tyler. What the fuck are you talking about? As far as I remember, you said everything in life is a game. I got to know you and played on your weaknesses. What are you talking about? Everything is a game. Even when we stopped playing chess, I was still playing. You did all of this because of what I said to you back then? Yeah. You know, only at first, I was planning to play this little prank to prove that when you really care about somebody, you do stupid shit. But the more I dug into your past, the bigger pile of shit I found. What are you talking about? You, Levi, Conrad, Marcus, you had seven successful truck robberies. Everything was always meticulously planned. Except for the last one, which was another shit show. Conrad got shot. Levi went missing. You know, you went to jail and only Marcus got lucky. How do you know about Marcus? He wasn't even in the news. Did you know that Conrad was super religious? It's ironic, right? After he got shot and you and Levi left him for dead, he was still alive. The police report said that his last phone call was during the robbery to his local priest. I knew Marcus had access to the police report. It said that the priest could not understand what Conrad was saying. It's too bad Marcus didn't talk to the priest himself. Once I got shit on him, he told me everything. Conrad wanted to confess before God. He told him all the bad shit he had done, all the bad shit he was planning to do. Marcus knew how much money was in the truck. Once you and Levi linked up with him, he and Conrad were going to kill you. Wait, Marcus knew about this? And Limp? What did that guy have to do with this? Oh, that guy? He reached out when all that shit was happening with Maggie. He was the one who told me about you and your little business. That's how you found out. You shouldn't trust that man, Tyler. Why? So far, he's been more trustworthy than you. As I told you before, Limp got out of control once his brother died. And once he started killing innocent people, I just couldn't let him go. So? I hired two of Marcus's men to take care of him. And he ended up killing them both. So what you're saying is, is that Limp's main goal was never Marcus or the money, but... Me. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute.
Hey, man, all good? Yeah, just as we planned. Not exactly. I'm calling an audible. What do you mean? I'll keep the money. Tell Michael we have unfinished business. Wait, I thought we had a deal. I told you. Don't be so naive, Tyler. I'll let you lead the game. The final prize is mine. Well, I had a great time playing with you. Naked Rabbit 007. Don't worry, Michael. I'm not as naive as I used to be. And sorry about the money. That was always part of the plan. And why? why? Why did you plan all of this? I guess it all started from Maggie. But you were the one who made me into who I am now. I didn't do anything. Exactly. You did nothing. Isn't it funny how we show up for the people we claim we love? I came to you for help. And you told me I was weak. Naive. That I could never change. You were wrong about me. After my account was hacked, I went to Maggie's place. I guess Lib planned all that when you threw him away. I knew I could never trust him when I was planning the game. Everyone had to pay their price. So what? That first guy I assigned you? That was all just practice? That was Lib and Maggie's partner at the bank. He was the one who transferred my money. Yeah, I made it look like he did some illegal transfers to one of Marcus's accounts. When he found out, he took no time to hire you. I'm... S I'm sorry for what I did. I just wanted you to grow up. But my tactics weren't the best. I should have done different for you. Yeah. I'm sorry, too. Anyway, Eddie will be here soon. So, uh, I really don't want to have to explain this twice. So can you tell him everything? You know, with Marcus gone, his family's going to start poking around looking for answers. And once they find out what happened, we're all dead. Well, if you need an extra hand, you know where to find me. But for now, I leave you the board. And what about Maggie? What happened to her? She's in the past. I've been looking for you all over. <sighs> Babe, did you hear me? What did you do to your hair? You look funny. <laughs> yeah, I just, I wanted to make you smile. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not me, because I'm breaking up with you. Babe, that's not funny. Good. Because it wasn't a joke. Are you serious? I never loved you. What are you talking about? 
Is this a prank? Get all of your shit out of my apartment by tomorrow. I never want to see you ever again. You're being so fucked up right now. I'm going through the most difficult time of my life. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I'll think about that when I'm fucking somebody else. You're not the person I thought you were. <laughs> yeah.